Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My name is Malika, and today, inshallah, I shall be continuing my series on the 99 names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And today, we'll be looking at the name Al Mutakabir, which means the Supreme or the Majestic. So, this name is used in the Quran in Surah 59, verse 23. So, the verse says, He is Allah, other than whom there is no deity, the Sovereign, the Pure, the Perfection, the Bestower of Faith, the Overseer the exalted in might, the compeller, the superior. Exalted is Allah above whatever they associate with him. So that verse gives a lot of Allah's Panodala's attributes, including al mutakabir So the word root in Arabic has several different meanings, including being great in size and great in majesty, great in dignity and nobility, great in learning, so being more knowledgeable, and being great in rights, so having rights that no one else possesses. So that is truly Allah's Panodala, because he is, like, his throne encompasses the whole of the heavens and the earth. Allah's Panodala is so great in size, and in his dignity and nobility, he is our creator. He is our Lord. He is the most worthy of our di of like dignity. He is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he is truly exalted above everything and everyone else. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the supreme majesty because he is the one. He is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the one. Like it says in Qul huwa Allah wahid. Say he is Allah the one. So he is the only one worthy of these attributes that we've been discussing these past few weeks. So that is truly something great and I want to share a hadith with you. Verily, Allah revealed to me that you should be modest, so that no one boasts before another, and so that no one transgresses against another. And that is Sahih Muslim Hadith. So that Hadith is a great reminder to us that none of us should be boasting to another person, none of us should be pride, should have arrogance, because we are all nothing in, in like com comparison to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So no matter how much elevated you think you are above another human being, we are all so far below Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that it's... The, the, the difference between us and another human being just isn't worth mentioning. So we shouldn't have that sort of arrogant pride. And it's okay to be proud of ourselves in the sense of, you know, be happy with our achievements, that's fine. But it's not okay when we use that pride as an arrogant form to think better of ourselves in comparison to other people. So we should always bear in mind that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al Kabir, the supreme and majestic, and none of us will ever come close. So we should use this as a reminder to be humble and to be modest because we are just Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creations. We will never have his majesty, so we should never think of ourselves too highly. And it's, we should be happy with ourselves, we should enjoy our lives, and we should be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for blessing us with lives. But we shouldn't be using this as a means to think highly of ourselves, to think we're better than other people, to think we're above doing certain things. And we should always remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our Lord and he is the one worthy of our worship. And I'm going to share another verse from the Quran. So this is in Surah 30 verse 27 and it says, He it is who produceth creation, then reproduceth it, and it is easier for him. His is the sublime similitude in the heavens and in the earth, he is the mighty, the wise. And it's a reminder that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is the creator. He is the one who made all of this. So when we say he is the supreme, there is no exaggeration there. So if, if any of us were to call ourselves the supreme, it would be a huge exaggeration because we are nothing in comparison to our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these attributes, they are for him and they are for him alone. And every time when we pray, what is the thing we say? Every prayer. Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest. So subhanAllah, we have that constant reminder that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the greatest. He is the one worthy of our worship. So it's just a beautiful reminder that is so integral to a Muslim's life. You know, we have that Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, every single day, five times a day in our prayers. So it's a constant reminder of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's greatness. And it's so important for us to really internalize that so that we remember why we are worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, why we are praying five times a day. And it is because he is worthy of it. So just as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the greatest, we should always strive for greatness in our own lives. And much as we will never reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's level of any of these attributes, they are important things because they are things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala considers good and considers important. So we should try and use them in our own lives. So when we do our actions, we should try and make our actions great. We should try and do the best of our actions, perfect everything we have in our own lives so that inshallah we can try and emulate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And much as we will never reach his level of majesty, we can be good to the people that we have power over. We can be good in our own lives and just do our actions to the best of our abilities. So just a kalakha for watching. I really hope you found this video useful. Please do like the video, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel for more Islamic videos in the future. Assalamu alaikum.